What's up guys, my name's Brandon and I don't think we've had a normal week in at least a month and this past week was no exception. So after going more than two weeks without any type of release from Apple, we finally got the fourth beta of iOS 15.2 on Thursday of all days, along with watchOS, tvOS, HomePodOS, and macOS betas as well. And if you are not a public beta tester or a developer, if you don't get the betas on your phone, then this week was just another boring one yet again, as iOS 15.1 and 15.1.1 are still the latest software versions for you guys. But in this video, we're going to discuss the current state of iOS 15.1.1 and 15.2 beta 4. So we're gonna discuss the new features, the bugs, the performance, the battery life, and more. So I wanna first start off by saying that Apple just recently stopped signing iOS 15.1 for all devices. So that means that if you're on iOS 15.1.1, if you're on the iPhone 12 or 13, those are the only two phones that got iOS 15.1.1. So if you're on that version, or if you're on the 15.2 betas, you can no longer downgrade to 15.1. And the reason I'm telling you guys this is because of course, if you tried to downgrade and you couldn't, now you know why. But more importantly, this means that a new public software update is imminent. So usually when Apple stops signing a software version, that means a new version is coming within two to at the latest three weeks. So that would line up with our original prediction of when we expect iOS 15.2 to be released to the public. And it's looking like this kind of confirms that. So we should be seeing 15.2 sometime very, very soon. All right, so now moving on to iOS 15.2 beta 4. Really, this is one of the most boring betas of the 15.2 beta cycle. So we waited over two weeks just to come back to pretty much nothing except for a fix to the auto brightness bug. So I can confirm once again that the auto brightness bug has been addressed here in beta four. So if you were facing issues with auto brightness where it would not, you know, basically make your device brighter or dimmer in certain situations, that has been fixed. So for example, there was multiple times on betas two and three where I would go into my room and turn the lights off to go to bed and my phone would stay really bright for like at least five minutes and then it would just randomly dim all the way down. So it wasn't really responsive and if it was, it was always delayed, but that has been fixed here with this latest beta. So now if you go into your accessibility, display and text size right here and turn it on, it will work properly. Of course, you can also ask Siri to turn your auto brightness on or off as well, but expect that to work as intended now. Also, it's the same with Safari. So there were a lot of issues with Safari for whatever reason, and some people were having issues where they would search for something and then shake to undo, and it would completely crash their Safari. So looks like some of the issues have been fixed with that as well. Now, one thing that has still not been fixed here in iOS 15.2 is the AirPlay to HomePod feature or the functionality of it is just still extremely slow and it doesn't always connect to my HomePod. I can only connect to my office HomePod right now and none of my other ones and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's an issue with the latest HomePod OS beta because I am running the HomePod OS 15.2 beta 4 as well or what. I haven't had this issue on any previous beta but for whatever reason now I'm having issues when I try to AirPlay to my HomePod. It'll just randomly disconnect sometimes and then other times it just won't connect at all. So hopefully that gets fixed in the RC and the final. Now also somebody on Twitter messaged me and this is somebody who uses shortcut automations a lot and specifically shortcut automations related to focus modes. So they said that beta four broke this functionality. So apparently when you have an automation set up and there's a focus mode included, it just simply does not work. It doesn't turn on or off that focus mode like it's intended to. So I tried this out myself and it worked for me. So I'm not too sure on the specifics of that, but if you're having issues with shortcut automations and focus mode specifically, let me know in a comment down below and I'll try to dig deeper in this and try to reproduce it. And of course, make sure you guys are reporting these bugs to Apple as well via the feedback application. And since you guys always ask me about the digital driver's license feature, I did just want to give you guys an update on that as well. And that is that it is still coming in early 2022. So we don't have a specific day or a specific iOS version. If I had to guess, I would guess that this is coming in iOS 15.3 maybe 15.4 at the latest, but I think 15.3 or even a point update would bring this feature. So I'm really looking forward to this and this is going to allow you to add your driver's license to your iPhone and Apple Watch to use at TSA and the airports. And then eventually you'll be able to use it everywhere. Of course, this is not going to be available to every state at first. It's going to only roll out to certain states, but it will make its way 
nationwide eventually. And I would guess that that would all happen in 2022. And then I did also want to mention the notification summary UI has reappeared normally for me. So now in this view, when I go to view this, you can see I could see all of my notifications, whereas before it would not drop down for me. I would press on this arrow and it would not show me all of my notifications. It would only show it in the original bubble view. So that has been fixed here in beta four as well and that is working properly i still also do not have any issues with overlap or gaps between notifications like i have pretty much every single day on ios 15.1.1 now as far as additional bugs in this update i still cannot search for photos in my spotlight search and select applications so some of them work like if i search for let's say phone for example if i search for phone well that doesn't work either but if i search for maps that doesn't work either. If I search for mail, that works. So it's just hit or miss. You really don't know which applications are gonna show up and be able to be searched for. I'm not sure what's going on, but that was not happening to me before iOS 15.2. So I'm really hoping that gets fixed in the final version because I use Spotlight Search a lot to open up my applications. And then of course we do still have the music streaming battery drain bug. So you could still experience some slight battery drain when streaming music on the Apple Music application. But as far as the overall performance goes, performance feels identical to beta three to me, honestly. I mean, everything has felt the same since beta one. I mean, really nothing has felt any faster to me personally in terms of performance. It's really all been just about the bugs. I mean, obviously the more bugs that are fixed, the better the version is going to feel overall. So things like the auto brightness though, that doesn't really impact the performance, I would say. So everything's pretty much been the same to me. So no difference to me in the performance. Now, as far as battery life, I was actually surprised to see the battery life definitely got better in beta four. So I have been monitoring this closely and I was actually surprised to see that beta four did slightly improve battery life i noticed that my phone was not draining near as much as it was and especially beta 2 but even beta 3 so that is good news and we should see near 15.1 and 15.1.1 levels for 15.2 when it comes out all right so now let's go ahead and move on to the community poll so if we go to my channel and then go to the community tab you will see my latest polls right here and I asked, what iOS version are you currently on and how is it running for you? So I'm on 15.1.1 and it's great for me on my iPhone 13 Pro. And you can see that is the most popular vote here at 66%. And you can see for the 15.2 betas, most people are saying that it is running fine, 8% versus 2%. So thank you to everybody who votes on these. Let's go ahead and read some of these comments. I was late to get this up. So I apologize for that. Of course, the beta did just come out on Thursday, so I didn't have a ton of time to gather comments, but I will refer back to this in a later video as well. So let's read through a couple of these. So it looks like there are some issues with voiceover. So Martel here is blind, so he uses voiceover a lot. And he says that when you tell Siri to do a command or write a text message, the voice will change to a completely different voice. So it appears that is a bug. I reported that before. It appears it is still here in beta four. He says, also, I have an issue where if I'm trying to call someone in my recent call list, it loses focus and it calls someone else. It's so annoying. So that's interesting. It seems like there are still some bugs with voiceover. Martel, make sure you are reporting those in the feedback application. He also mentions that SharePlay says unavailable a lot. So that could have to do with the person you're calling. Maybe they're not on iOS 15.1. You know, maybe they're just on iOS 14 or iOS 15.0 still. That's really the only thing I can think of. Or maybe your, you know, Wi-Fi speeds are not fast enough to support it. Not too sure on that one. I've not faced that myself. On iOS 15.1 on my 13 and battery life has been great. Not much this week. Performance is good. So that is good to hear there. 15.1.1 is running great for the most part, but my iPhone 12 battery is draining pretty fast. So that could have to do with a lot of things. Maybe not just the software version. Still a few bugs. Most annoying is the podcast app bug where the next podcast just get reset after some time. 15.2 beta four on my 12 pro max. And it's been the best beta ever since I've been running betas. So that's good to hear there, Philip. Yeah, I'm not really having too many issues here with this fourth beta, especially after that auto brightness has been fixed. So good to hear you're having a good experience. Been using 15.2 beta four on my eight plus, And so far so good. The battery life is noticeably better than beta three and performance is better too. So good to read there and did say do read. There you go <laughs> on 15.2 beta four on my 11. No major issue so far, except for the screen not turning off automatically on the lock screen when using Spotify. 
So interesting, may just have to do with Spotify. Spotify has been having a lot of bugs lately on iOS. Major issues with my AirPods staying connected all of a sudden. Can't reconnect more than one pair without the phone stating not your AirPods or losing connection. So that's interesting. I don't really have any of the bugs that a lot of you guys have with AirPods. I'm not sure what I'm doing different, but uh, yeah, I'm not really having any issues with AirPods and connectivity. A lot of people saying that 15.1 and 15.1.1 are running great. So hopefully 15.2 doesn't ruin that. It seems like a lot of you guys are having a really good experience so far on 15.1 and 15.1.1. 15.1 bugs everywhere. Battery life is draining fast. There's always, you know, a major difference from everybody else in these comments. It's really interesting to see how somebody's experience can be totally opposite of everybody else. But anyway, he said, battery life is draining fast for no reason with a lot of screen t screen off time. It's rubbish. <laughs> By the way, I got 11 Pro Max. Hope iOS 15.2 fixes at least the battery issue. So I would say I would go out on a limb and say that it probably will fix that because, you know, I'm not too sure what's going on there, but you may want to maybe reset all content and settings as well. Maybe start fresh on your device if something like that is happening. iPhone 12 mini, iOS 14.7.1, almost no bugs, waiting for a jailbreak. So shout out to the people who still jailbreak here in 2021. Let me know in a comment down below if you guys are still part of the jailbreak community. I'm surprised that it's still going as strong as it is. 14.8.1 buttery smooth, iOS 15.1 on my 11 Pro Max, and low power mode, Siri sounds like bad radio signal. Interesting. So a lot of people having issues with Siri lately. That's pretty interesting. But anyway, I did read all of these. Thank you to everybody who did leave a comment here. It always helps us out here on the channel, helps us understand what type of issues you guys are facing. But don't forget, don't just tell me, make sure to report them in the feedback application as well. If you have the beta on your phone, you also have the feedback application right here where you can report those directly to Apple. All right. So now what is next for Apple? So next week is the week of the sixth. And I would expect to see the RC build next week, the RC build of iOS 15.2. Now there is a possibility of seeing a beta five, but I think it's gonna be the RC build. So if we do get RC, that means the final would be coming on the week of the 13th. Now, if we did get a beta five there, we'd probably see the RC on the week of the 13th, and that would push the final to the week of the 20th. So I don't see it coming anytime after that. I definitely don't see it coming in that last week just because of the holidays. So that is my prediction right now. RC next week, final the week of the 13th. Of course, Apple always likes those Mondays and Tuesdays for the releases, but really nobody knows anymore. Apple's so unpredictable. I mean, they released the beta on Thursday this week out of all days. So hard to say, we're just gonna guess by the week for now. And I'll let you guys know, of course, on Twitter and in my future videos, if things change. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is the latest on iOS 15.1 and iOS 15.2 beta 4. So hope you guys enjoy these follow-up videos as usual. If you do, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 15 coverage coming very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.